So in our last lesson, we were able to get Laravel up and running using the PHP artisan serve command. Now there's one caveat. If we're to push or click or key in control C and we stop that command, then we go back and we reload our page, it doesn't work anymore. So the caveat is you have to remember to keep your terminal open and you have to run PHP artisan serve for Laravel to properly stay up and running in local development. The first is to use Laravel Homestead. Now, one of the things with Laravel Homestead is it is very powerful and my personal option of choice. It's a little more advanced though. We do have an entire lesson on setting up Laravel Homestead if you wanna check it out. For most projects, Laravel Homestead is my choice and it works on both Windows, Mac, and I guess additionally also on Ubuntu and all the Linux flavors. The second option is Laravel Valet. Now, Valet only works on Mac, and Laravel Valet is what we are covering in this lesson. If you were on Windows, you have two options. You can either go and check out that Laravel Homestead series, or you can just keep using the PHP and serve command, and I promise you are good to go for the rest of the series. That command will work. Um, you just have to remember to run it. So that's the only caveat. So if you're on Windows, I'm sorry, but this lesson, it has no, you just can't set up Valet on Windows. If you're on Mac or you're on a Ubuntu or any other Linux flavor, stay here for the extra credit. Otherwise, you are good to go on to the next lesson. Um, so Laravel Valet, let's dive in. Installation. The first three steps we actually completed in lesson one. Install Homebrew, install PHP using Brew, and install Composer. So we actually want to start here on step four. All we're going to do is we're going to copy this snippet. And using Composer, we're going to install Laravel Valet, but globally. Going to our terminal, we're simply going to paste that snippet in and then press Enter. Once installed, we now have access to Valet. And it may ask for your pseudo password because it needs admin permissions. The next thing we want to do is, as you can see, I actually am in a code directory. So if we go up here, I like putting all of my projects into a single directory. So I put it in code. If you don't have that directory, you can just do make directory code and CD into code. Within that code directory, what we want to do is run sudo using admin permissions, valet, install. Once installed, we have one more step, and that is to park valet. Now, what's park do? Well, let's try this. Let's do valet, park, and then we're going to do help. Register the current working directory, the code directory we're in, or specified directory with valet. So all we're going to do is we're going to do valet, park, and then, of course, add the sudo at the beginning. Once we have properly parked valet, we can simply do valet open and then whatever the name of that directory is. Mine is Laravel 7 series. This now allows you to access your Laravel project from whatever the name of that directory dot test. That is Laravel valet. Simple.